Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show here for Sunday, August 13th. Back with some more MLB action here for today's slate. Got three games that I like here going on for Sunday's card. But before we jump into that quickly, looking back at Saturday's slate, we do end up going one and two, but thanks to the units on the Rangers at 2.5 on them, um, one on both the White Sox and the Angels, we actually end up having a profitable day plus 0.9 units. Um, not the first time the Rangers have saved us um, and probably certainly won't be the last this season with how well they've been playing and just how much I love betting on this team. But if you do want to see the unit size for all of the picks pre-flop, head over to Dub Club, link down in the description. Not only can you get the units before the games, you can disc access as well as early access to all the YouTube videos as well as ad free YouTube videos dub club notifications um, all for only $19.99 a month as well as if you want to hit me up on Twitter in the DMs hit me in the email I'll get you a seven day free trial you can go take a look at it absolutely no charge cancel anytime um, you know no risk to sign up so go take a look at that and let's get into Sunday's show so we start out Sunday's show here in Boston as the Tigers take on the Red Sox for the Tigers come into this game as the 26th overall team in the hot Tibet power ranking. The Red Sox are the 13th overall team. Um, Red Sox get the advantage on the bats 10th in hitting while the Tigers are the 25th overall team in the rankings. Um, a little bit closer in pitching, but the Red Sox still get the advantage 17th to the Tigers who are 24th and on the mound here in this game are two pitchers who have looked very good this season. Cutter Crawford on the mound for the Red Sox. Um, I mean, really across the board has been a strong pitcher, a 3.8 ERA, a 1.15 whip, um, has a pretty strong hard hit percentage at 36.1%, a 24.9 strikeout percentage. I mean, it's hard to argue against any of those stats, and he's really been backing it up, especially as of late. You know, did give up three runs to the Royals in his last start, but zero the game before that, only won the game before that. I mean, really a guy who has been peaking at a great time and, and has just been playing some very, very strong baseball, um, you know, here the last few weeks and, and really the season as a whole. But Eduardo Rodriguez on the other side of things for the Tigers has been just as good of a pitcher this season. A 2.75 ERA on the season, a 1.05 whip, um, and he himself, even a better hard hit percentage at 33.6%, a slightly higher strikeout percentage at 25%, comes into this game only giving up zero runs in his last start. I mean, really, two guys who are very, very good, as far as the model goes, projects it as a fairly low scoring game, 3.91 runs to the Tigers, 4.84 um, to the Red Sox, good enough for 8.75 um, total from the model and as far as where the odds sit at the moment the under currently under nine plus 100 you can get a little bit better odds juice wise on the over at over nine and a half plus 105 but even with where the under is priced at the moment you know even with the push potential that there is um, at nine runs I think it's a great bet and I actually like it more than the model does. Not a huge edge from the model, only 2.38% with Rodriguez and Crawford on the mound here in this one. I think we see a pitcher's duel through and through. I don't think we're going to see a ton of runs in this one, even with it being this little early game. Um, so taking the under nine runs here for Tigers Red Sox. The next game we'll take a look at here on Sunday's card is the Cubs taking on the Blue Jays for the Cubs. Coming to this game is the 10th overall team in the high debit power ranking. The Blue Jays are the 9th overall team um, for the Cubs. Have had some strong hitters as of late. 5th in batting coming into this game while the Blue Jays are 20th and kind of flips on the other side of the ball. The Blue Jays the 2nd overall pitching team at the moment. The Cubs 20th. So, um, you know, two teams who are certainly been strong in their own rights. As far as the Cubs go, Jameson Talon on the mound here in this game and he's been a fairly strong pitcher for the Cubs this season baseline you know doesn't look great necessarily a 5.17 ERA isn't the best 1.34 whip um, but done a decent job guys striking guys out 20.7 percent a 37.3 hard hit percentage um, you know certainly hasn't been a terrible pitcher and you know given up not a ton of runs especially in his last few starts for the Cubs and on the mound for the Blue Jays Heinjin Ru um, gets the start here in this game now hard to put a whole lot of weight into what he has done thus far this season this will only be his third start of the year um, but where his numbers are at currently are similar to where he was at last year you know a 41.4 hard hit percentage at the moment um, a 44.1 last year a 13.9 strikeout percentage this year a 14.2 last year so um, you know not a 
ton of wiggle room you know it's hard to tell exactly what he's gonna look like there but um you know haven't seen a huge difference from what we've seen um on the field here the first few weeks of august but for the blue jays in the model coming into this game projected at 4.72 runs the cubs at 4.87 uh, projects the cubs as a minus 106 favorite coming into this game um and that is semi close to where it opened at the cubs opened as a plus 102 underdog um and are all the way up to a plus 120 underdog at the time of recording this and i think that is a great bet um i think with the pitcher matchup going into this game with how well the cubs have swung the bats you know as of late and, and really here in the second half of the season um i think it's a cubs team that can easily keep this one in hand um and, and potentially win this one outright taking the cubs plus 120 here against the Blue Jays. And the final game we're going to take a look at here on Sunday is the Rangers taking on the Giants for the Rangers coming to this game as the second overall team in the hot spot power ranking. The Giants are the 12th overall team. And obviously the Rangers bats have been on fire all season long. Second in batting coming into this game while the Giants are 16th. Um, Texas has still struggled a bit pitching wise. Obviously, I've got a little bit better as of late. Um, some of the roster moves and, and whatnot helping out there. But 11th in pitching at the moment, Giants do have a slight advantage in that department. Seventh coming into this game. And as far as the starters go here for this one, Dane Dunning on the mound for the Rangers in this game. Logan Webb gets the start um, for San Francisco. And as far as Dunning has done this season, um, not the greatest stat line in the world, kind of on par with what the Rangers have done as a whole pitching wise, but a 3.21 ERA isn't terrible. A 1.15 whip ain't bad either. Um, has struggled a little bit with the hard hits, giving up a 40.4 hard hit percentage on the season. And really in his last few starts, hasn't done great with the runs, you know, five runs in his last start, three before that, um, you know, five, seven, five in the three games before that, you know, has had some higher scoring innings, some higher scoring games. And even though the Rangers have won a lot of those games um has struggled at times um when he has been on the mound as of late and as far as logan webb goes for the giants has had his fair share of struggles too a 3.3 adra 1.09 whip has really struggled with the hard hits giving up a 46.4 hard hit percentage on the season comes into this game um giving up two runs in his last start really both these guys are good pitchers for their team but two guys who can certainly give up some runs and the model really does reflect that in this projection has the rangers projected out 5.51 runs coming into this game a decently high favorite um which you know is a potential bet based on where the the rangers are on the money line here um but with dunning on the mound i'm gonna hold off on betting the rangers here in this game and with the Giants projected at 4.49 runs as well I think this is a great bet to the total you know 9.97 projected total um, here for this game currently at the sports fix sits at eight has already come up a little bit from seven and a half um, you know a little bit of an adjustment to the juice there so um, not a you know a whole half point move but, but still a move up towards that eight number and I think that's the play for this game with Dunning and Webb on the mound here in this one. I think we're going to see a pretty high scoring affair as this series comes to a close, taking the over eight runs here for Rangers Giants. That'll do it here for Sunday's MLB show. If you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on, head over to hottipbets.com. Got an MLB horse racing, UFC picks being posted up there every single day. We got stuff going on as well as, you know, college football, the NFL, NBA, NHL, and of course, college basketball coming up here in the fall. So go check the website out so you don't miss out on any of that as well as follow all the social links down below. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter to stay up to date with all the content being posted over there. As well as if you are watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel hit the bell notifications you don't miss out on any future uploads as well as drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on here for sunday and thanks for watching today's video i will see you guys tomorrow